Welcome back to TSSI's live coverage of the 5th Annual Sloth Ironman Games. This is Mother of Sloths. Tuto Tom. And this is Pedro. What do you think of the signs there? They're very... Generic. Yeah, but they're lovely. Welcome back, friends. I'm here with Daniel, another amazing fan of this year's Sloth Ironman Games. Daniel, do you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? Yes, so I'm a biologist here at Tucan Risco Ranch. I'm the lead tour guide and I'm also the coordinator of the education program. Awesome! So you're a fan of Lala this year. Why did you fall in love with her? So the reason why I love Lala so much is because she is really small, but she's fierce so she can win this. And what are you most excited about this year's games? So I'm excited for Lala to win, basically. So she's gonna nail it. So that's exactly what I want. And that's what exactly what I'm excited about. So yeah. Cool. Awesome. So back to the field. Hello. My name is Camila and I got second place in the fourth annual Salov Ironman Games. I am here to remind you that every behavior you see in the games is perfectly natural and a part of enrichment and training for each sloth's eventual release back into the wild. After my narrow defeat, I was feeling pretty upset for a few weeks, so I became friends with the horse, and they now perform as Camila Caballo, a Camila Caballo tribute act. All right, setting up. This is some juicy looking hibiscus it flowers. Up. It was nice to see a little footage of Camila from last year. Personally, I've been to that act. It is fantastic. It is so similar to the actual Camilla Caballo. You wouldn't believe it. Ooh, All right, let's eat off. get started. A little tease there. And Whoever right. eats the flower fastest. Oh my Whoa. God! Blooper reel. Reminder: the buckets are, can be a hazard. Oh, Gasparri's just jumping at it. Oh, ferocious. They that is some him, nice grabbing. That's what they call him the oh, white shark. Oh, oh no! Oh, wow. Disqualified! Overenthusiastic almost. Can't even eat a flower? Here we go. So. So, so different approach. Licking his lips. More cautious. Yeah, yeah. So what happened with uh, Gaspar? Not grabbing the hanger. Just oh. grabs, the, grabs the flower. Wow, he's very Devouring speedy. Devouring it. Wow, that is pretty impressive. I hope he's there's not no gonna flowers miss a at single home. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow, minute 26. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. Of not course, bad, sped up, not so bad. not in real time. Oh, I have a feeling this Ooh. is going to be a clip. It, We've it, got guarumo fruit here. Now, it is the hibiscus eat off, not the guarumo fruit, fruit eat off. So, uh, yeah, but three fingers don't really like hibiscus. Very mm, much, so, so it's a. Uh, you know, it needs these to be do generally take a bit longer time to eat. That is true. So it will be interesting. How Eclipse does. It is. She's doing pretty That's good. Slowly she doing it. Making a mess. Clearly very hungry herself. for these. Ah, and of course that is the male Gorma fruit, but still 313. Ooh, oatmeal. After all the trauma she's uh, suffered, I'm sure she's very hungry. Devouring. Oh, destroying that flower. Devouring. Basically melting in her mouth. Yeah. Oh, wow. almost a, a world record. It I don't think be. anyone's gonna beat that time. Well, I'm not sure Lala. Well, sniffing, not oh, interested. Clearly, Daniel did not root for her pre match meal, must have been too huge. Oh, oh, is she, is she get it in the bucket? Oh, my God. oh yeah. another disqualification. Wow, oh. the fans must be crushed. Does she have corona? Tough to tell, can affect the balance. Oh, oatmeal. That was so fast. It was impressive. Wow. And Eclipse, again, very, a, yeah. Yeah, a slow time, but that. others got uh, disqualified. Don't forget to donate to help your favorite sloth fleet. And join us on the 23rd for the Strong Sloth competition. And, of course, the poop off on the 24th. Will Lala be disqualified for the rest of these? Who knows? I guess you'll have to tune in.